not ready Queen's absence from Parliament saddens fans as Charles steps up. Prince Charles has been praised for performing well as he took on a major responsibility from the Queen, but some royal fans are not ready for a future without Her Majesty leading the country and the firm. The Prince of Wales, 73, delivered for the first time in his life the Queen's speech at the Houses of Parliament. Charles stepped in for his mother as she continues to experience mobility issues. Britain tuned in to watch the state opening of Parliament today, Tuesday, with one royal fan stating the future was being unfolded in real time. Royal watcher at Countess Common 1 tweeted, Hashtag Prince Charles representing the Queen at the state opening of Parliament is watching the future unfold in real time. Let's hope Her Majesty is resting comfortably. A few royal fans replied to this tweet, suggesting they were not ready to see the Queen's reign coming to an end. At Lucy Pip 20032481 wrote, I'm not ready for this. In a reply to this user, at Linden 95314683 said, Don't you'll start me off. Agreeing with the other Twitter users, at Lindalo 44664108 added, Or me. While some expressed their sadness not to be able to see the Queen fulfill this key constitutional duty, others praised the Prince of Wales for stepping in for the monarch last minute and carrying out the role impeccably. At Sally Price 4 wrote, The way Prince Charles delivered that speech will be remembered forever. He did well. Similarly, at NYRS underscore Emma said, I thought Prince Charles did well. It must have been quite a big responsibility to take on and a strange step to take. And at N Sister Jessica wrote, I think Prince Charles did a good job. And it was lovely to see Prince William there too. At Fairy Queen commented not just on Charles. Palace sources stress the monarch is still healthy enough to be working behind her residence's walls. The Queen, they said, has a busy diary this week which include a call with Australia, a Privy Council meeting and an audience with the UK Prime Minister.